Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome back to Puppeteer. Last time, we began our journey through the Moonwood. This time we're going to go even further into it and hopefully stop General Rat's nefarious scheme. Let's see what Curtain 2 has in store. The Moonstone was Kuturo's only ticket home to Earth. Newly armed with the ninja's bombacious powers, Kuturo continued to scour the Moonwood in search of the despicable rat. That's right. I almost forgot to mention we did get the ninja powers. Go back to Kuturo's tale. The second champion's powers. Hopefully these will be put to good use. Ever since the goddess had vanished from her throne, the denizens of the Moonwood had hardly slept a wink. But then... They received a visitor, a single smartly dressed rat. Gather round, the rat said, and produced a purple elixir. This tincture will cure all illnesses and stave off the tyrant's magic. And he offered to sell it to them for a reasonable price, as a neighborly gesture. The Moonwood's inhabitants were overjoyed and relieved to have such a good friend looking out for them. Wow, the Moonwood is a mess, all right. But where's General Rat? There's still no sign of him. At least it's nice here. Finally, a place on the moon that's not crazy. Hey, Kataro, even if you clobber that rat and get the Moonstone Shard, you better not give it to the witch. I mean it. Seriously, that witch? She's just using you so she can get her grubby hands on the Moonstone. Or worse. <laughs> oh, yes, dearie. Give me the Moonstone. And your brains. Who knows what she'll do with that kind of power? You should leave the Moonstone with me. I can keep it safe. What? You wouldn't dare. <laughs> that dip squeak is even more shady than I am. Can it, Crone? No comments from the imaginary peanut gallery. Be honest, Kataro. Do you still not trust me? Because I think I could tell you something that might change your mind. Ready for this? My daddy is the sun. I know, it's like tragic. I'm a princess, I'm royalty. Then the moon bear king hits me with one lousy flash of magic. Oof. And suddenly, I'm just royally tiny. What? What's that look? I'm serious. I'm the sun princess. 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 What? Princess, hey! Princess. 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 Stop princess that! Princess of her. We're so blessed. Yes, we're blessed. The princess of the sun is here. We're so blessed. Yes, yes, yes. The princess of the sun. And so, uh, with the vows of, um, friendship renewed, Kutaro and Picarina, princess of the sun, continued their quest to find the shattered moonstone. I love Picarina. She's so ridiculous. It's such a funny scene. <laughs> and now for Lake Cedrus. Kutaro and Picarina were still hot on the rat's tail when they reached the edge of a dim and darksome lake. Oh, please, someone, anyone, help! Save me from my predicament! Mayday! Mayday! They heard the shrill cries of a damsel in distress. A damsel, huh? Yeah... Not sure about that, but we'll find out in a minute. First off, inspect this giant mushroom here for a new head. The mushroom head. And we've got a glob of purple goop. And you'll see 
The circle with the line through it, that's the symbol of the ninja's bombs. Throw a bomb on it, anything that has that symbol, and you can blow it up. Do some lily pad hopping and make your way to the right. What? Ah, what's that? Lake Cedrus had been one of the Moon Realm's top tourist attractions. Until, of course, it got turned into a creepy, toxic, gut-turning pit of stink and rot. And some simple platforming just to get over to the side. And make sure not to stand on any lily pad too long because they will start to sink and you'll take damage. But move onward and we meet some frogs. Help! Oh, please help! Somebody save us! A mama went crazy! I mean, a mama Did you know crazy? that frogs are low in calories and contain high efficiency protein? Beauty in every bite. Oh, oh, is she eating her own kids? For real? Yep. The giant crazy kappa lady is the damsel in distress. But we get the frog head, so let's take it and move further on here. Slice through the plants and we'll keep moving. Living in the lake were adorable little creatures known as the Kapagairu. But the rat's toxin had triggered a most unpleasant metamorphosis. And the few Kapagairu who dodged that bullet now faced extinction at the hands of their psychopathic relative. And as you saw there, you can use the bomb to kill grubs. In fact, if you throw it to them, they'll grab the bomb and toss it around and blow themselves up. But in the background here, we've got a grub torturing one of the boys there. Inspect him! And we take out the grub and save them. Not too bad. Keep moving onward and... We'll get, I believe... Yes, on to the next area. Ugh, give me a break. In days of yore, the moon goddess herself took holidays to the lake, but you wouldn't know it now. Unless her idea of a day off was frightful fishes, freakish frogs, and phantasmal vistas. So we've got a fish here. Toss a bomb in its mouth. And we get some water that we can actually cut. Yes, you can cut a splash of water. Oh, missed. All right, let's try again. There we go. Yeah, you're going to use the ninja's bombs a lot, especially in this stage. They give it to you, you figure. Put it to use. A few little blossoms there to cut through. And yeah, okay, I was like, I knew there's got to be something popping up here. Just keep cutting. We're doing okay. And we should have a new head action to use in a second. The drum boomed and blammed as the Kapagairu fested their festivals. Now, the tune had changed. Well, you know what? I say let's beat a taiko drum here and bring back the festive spirit. Wash joy! Wash joy! Hey, are they having a festival? Wash joy! Oh, baby, I love festivals. Woohoo! Wash joy! Wash joy! It's a festival called the Bonus Stage. How many festivals do you know of that are held underwater? When it's a bountiful harvest you're praying for, nothing butters up your gods and ancestors better than lugging around heavy portable shrines. A particularly rowdy festival usually climaxed with Kapagairu romping about in the dark, forging romances, and finding creative ways to increase the Kapagairu population. This one's not too bad. It's a little cool, actually, with the whole silhouette thing going on. I say it's not bad, and then I fall. Well, we'll go back and clear it later. For now, just keep running. Come on. And cut our way along a little bit further and we'll be at the next area. There it is. 
Can you just picture it? The pristine water, like glass, nestled in a vast kingdom of green. It was the perfect getaway for two young lovers. The grass by the lake, soft upon the buttocks. <clears throat> well, let's just say it was a very memorable honeymoon, even for a man full of memorable stories. But those vividly luscious days are lost, like frogs in a blender. When you get as old as me, and the days grow as weary and predictable as they do, you too will be longing for grass on your buttocks. You mark my words. Um, okay, narrator. You're very strange. We're just gonna pretend you didn't say a lot of that. But hey, another, whoop, another grub. Come on, grab the bomb. There we go. Yeah, I love blowing them up with bombs. It's kind of fun. Which makes me sound a little bit like an evil person. So let's move past that. What is this? A statue? Looks like one of the Moai. Or is it supposed to be Buddha? Well, regardless, let's use the Jizo statue head and see what happens. Look out! It's an army of uh, arms! Many believe he was given all these arms so that he could come to the rescue of countless worlds. Well, could he start with our world? Just saying. Oh, he's got a happy face now. Yep, I love that silly little action. Just gets you moon sparkles. Unflinching across the dangerous lakes, mossy rocks, and aquatic leaves. Slashing at the petals on the wind as if composing a wordless poem. But it's kind of fun. Onward our hero sloshed. Noting with every sploosh that the rat's purple poison had been splotched all over the place like putrid paint. Well, let's get rid of some of this putrid paint. Now, these guys are similar to the evil koi from before, except instead of jumping, they shoot at you. I had dreams once. I was beautiful once. Could you shut up once? I don't know why, but I just love that line. All right, now, careful. These guys will stagger their shots, and I got hit. Well, rather than try to go and save the head, let's just grab a new one from this pot. Ah, spike ball head came back. Yeah, that's the funny thing. You can get any head from a head pot. It's random. Look at that rock. That's a sight gag waiting to happen. It is indeed. So what you need to do is roll, or it slams into you and hurts you. Also, it reveals a hundred sparkle. You can get it if you just kind of cut in the air a little bit, extend your jump just slightly. Blow that up. And what do we got here? Frog. Oh, missed. Let's try. There we go, right inside. Something seems different about the middle lantern. It almost looks like one of those paper ones. Yeah, and we've got a head action, but again, can't do anything with it because we haven't encountered that head yet. We'll just have to come back another time. For now, though, progress onward. And some more springing. I love the frogs just hanging out in the back there. Doing a little bit of exercising, I guess. Maybe swimming stretches. That's what he's doing. But here we come to a mid-boss. Kutaro came across a great blob of poison. Surely this was what had fouled up the lake. Well, let's get rid of it. <laughs> Curse that rat! Look at what I have become! I am a tragedy in the midst of unfolding. I hate to pick on the old trout, but aim for that brainless head of hers. Now for this, there is a little trick. You need to stay up in the air and don't set foot on the ground. Just keep cutting and stay near the top the whole time and you'll manage it. Don't be fooled by those moon sparkles. Stay in the air. She's getting away! After her! 
Now the scene transitions the toughest part. Ah, you monsters! I only wanted to be beautiful! Says the dimwit who ate her children. Go on, Kataro. Blow her head off again. But as long as you stay near the top and keep cutting, you should be fine to get even through the scene transitions. Get out of it, lady. Now there's a head action we could use here, but we want to hold off and wait because it would invalidate this attempt to stay in the air. Day after day after day, saddled by croaking sprogs. It wasn't always like this. I was right, I Can you blame me for taking the rat's medicine? Can you? Uh, yes, we can. All right, once more, Kataro. Get fearing. <gasps> the rat spell? It's broken? Oh, at last! My former splendor will be restored! <laughs> why, gods, why? What a fool I was to have listened to that insidious rat! <laughs> well... Let that be a lesson. The next time something sounds too good to be true... Oh, cut you, rat! Cut you! You vile servant of evil! Like the Black Death, you came and blackened the hope in us all! And then you killed us! Um, you're kind of still alive, you know. Pill, what gives? Is Gloria off today? I can't work with this ham. Whoa, 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 whoa is me. Oh my gosh, this is mortifying. Come on, Kataro. Wait, wait, I'm not finished. The gods, the gods of the Moonwood, they are in danger. Grievous danger. More. You are doomed, doomed. The Moonwood's end is assured! <laughs> it's grievous, you ignoramus! Oh, that's it! Stop everything! Jeez, lady! Who flushed your muse down the toilet? <sighs> Curtain! Bill, get her out of here! I'll summarize for the audience! <clears throat> okay. So, basically... Me and Kitaro are the searching. The cedars! Oh. You must find mother and father cedar at the center of the forest before. Shut up! Me and Kitaro have to save the Moonwood's guardian deity. Whose roots stretch oh. beneath the whole forest. Yes, who? Oh, line. If Red convinces them to drink this nefarious love. No mixer! Wait, okay. We're done. Next scene! Yes, Kataro, they love you. Now walk! We are doomed! The forest shall rot! The birds shall chop their own obituaries! The cataclysm is upon us! One more. <laughs> what a ham. But I kind of love it. Day to you, sir and madam. What an honor it is to meet the one and only mother and father Cedar. <laughs> Aren't you polite and well spoken, too? Make yourself at home. You're the talk of the forest, don't you know? They're all raving about that elixir. What's it you've got? Ah, yes, the elixir. It cures any ailment. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good. Sounds like Rat has already made it to the Cedars. But first, let's go here, right to this little shrine and use the Mushroom Head. And a Roulette appears! Whoa, that thing is freaky looking. Just don't do damage. There we go. Oh, what was that? A whole bunch of heads and because of the slant they just roll back to us pretty nice 
Now as we go, we should encounter a couple grubs coming up, I believe. Also, I love this. It's a little bit that, you know, it drops some goop that'll hurt you. You can get rid of it, but it just falls more, so you're best off just avoiding it. And climb higher! Up and up the tree we go! Now these big spots you definitely want to blow up, because they're just in your way. But these, not much we can do about them, so just avoid them. But you are both still so juvenacious. Surely you are having no need for such physics or interventions. <laughs> oh, listen to you. When you've got as much mileage as us, you start to develop certain, well, issues. So, not good. We do not want Rat getting to the cedars. We need to get up there quicker. Oh, hey, Panda Head. Now, you see the 100 sparkle there? This can be a little tough to get right now. Let's give it a shot. Oh, nope. Okay. You have to manage to cut some of these. Got it! Yeah, that's another one of those that our aerial maneuver we'll learn later will help with. But for now, we'll just, you know, make it through with the abilities we have. Keep going. We got more stuff to blow up. More and more. Ooh, that doesn't look good up there. Can actually use this to bounce up here. And you tell, sir. Well, I wonder what's in this pot. One of us is a little F A T. Ah, I see. But you do not seem so plumpy to me. It, I, I'm not the one of us with the problem. Catch my drift. <laughs> Indeed, I do. I shall make your wife slender and supple again. Now, I actually almost forgot while I was standing this, listening to them, I remembered we have to investigate these. It'll make some leaves fall. And we can cut up to the left where we see a ah, little squirrel hanging out here. Inspect the squirrel. He'll pop out of one of the other holes. Well, okay, maybe he'll pop out of the same hole. He can pop out of any of these three. Inspect him three times. And he gives us the acorn head, which honestly is kind of, it looks like an actual person's head. The acorn just kind of looks, you know, the top of it looks like hair. I don't know. Interestingly done. Now we can move onward. And as we go, the platform's falling. Keep running, keep running. Now there's no way to get up there at the moment, so we have to bomb our way up. That's right. Throw a bomb down and launch us. Pretty cool. Do it once more. <clears throat> well, why you're catching his drift? Yes, madam. Do you? Do you smell that? Uh, why, uh, uh, yes, madam. What is that fragrance? It's not me. Guess who it is? Saying no more. I can make your husband's crag smell as fresh as the cool breeze. All right, now we've got a tricky hundred sparkle coming up. We're going to have some grubs appear in a sec. When they do, we're going to actually use them to fly up into the sky. So, you need to be prepared for that. Okay. The grubs are going to pop out. I thought they popped out of this hole. No, maybe that's later. I, I don't remember exactly where that is. Uh, oh, here it is. All you're needing oh, is no! Okay. Darn it. Give me head. <gasps> oh. We get them while they're jumping. Here, allow me to gift you there we go. Limited time free sample. But you must not tell my other customers. Whew, okay. Yeah, that's a tricky one. You're best off getting it while they're climbing on the wall. But if you miss it, you can time it while they jump. What's in this pot? Hey, a statue head again. Now here we've got a mushroom that can launch us up skyward and we can start bouncing. But before we do, let's go to the right. And we've got a giant squirrel. So let's examine. 
see we got the acorn head. Don't use that action yet. First, examine her three times, and the mama squirrel will come out and actually try to stab you with the knife. Yeah, not so happy. But we get the trophy. Every squirrel has its thorns. Alright, now we can use the acorn head for a different reaction. A whole bunch of moon sparkles. Yeah, much happier than, you know, stabbing us with a knife. Now just keep jumping higher and higher. Whoop, nope, didn't mean to miss the leaves there. Start climbing up. Somebody okay. called 911. And now the moon word is doomed. <laughs> and we progress on to the next area where we actually meet the cedars. His treachery lay bare. Rats sprayed mother and father cedar with a revolting violent groom. Silly shrubberies. Your forest is belonging to the moon bear king now. A few well-placed bombs should blow all that goop off. It should. But you know what? I'm gonna leave it here. That's right. Cliffhanging it in a boss fight. <laughs> We have journeyed through the Moonwood. We found Mother and Father Cedar and General Rat. Let's see if next time we can put a stop to his shenanigans once and for all. Ready to check out? <laughs> Thank you.